Imagine an object is held at rest above ground. What types of energy does it have? It has gravitational, potential energy. Now sometimes um, that is referred to as PE for potential energy, or sometimes the letter U uh, with a little subscript G. These both uh, stand for gravitational potential energy. It means that Earth can do work on this object by exerting a force on it as it falls. Does it have kinetic energy? Well, no. Kinetic energy actually equals zero right now because it's at rest. Now this is the initial state of the ball, but after it's released, the gravitational field will exert a force on it, which does work. And right before the object hits ground, it'll actually be moving quite fast with some speed. So how much gravitational potential energy does it have? Well, we could say that the potential energy, um, which is UG final, we can call that zero. It's kind of common to call the ground uh, zero. Will it have kinetic energy, though? It will. It'll have a kinetic energy that is greater than zero. Now, what if we were to just give it some numbers? Like, let's say, for example, it's got five joules of potential energy when it's held at rest in that position. And it's got zero kinetic energy. At the bottom, it's going to have zero potential energy. How much kinetic energy will it have? Well, that is a question that this next um, concept aims to answer. The concept is conservation of mechanical energy. And the answer here to that question is five joules. So if a system is isolated and all forms of energy other than K and UG remain constant, then the sum of the kinetic energy and the gravitational potential energy will remain constant throughout time. What it implies is that gravitational potential energy can be converted to kinetic, and kinetic can be converted to gravitational. But what we will see is that there won't be any net gain or loss of energy. Energy is conserved. 